Yeah, I know it took a while. He wouldn't he wouldn't talk to us for a little bit and then he wanted to text instead of get on the phone. And he was like, Yeah, I'm willing to sell it. Basically, like I'm willing to sell it and save myself a foreclosure type deal. He goes, but um my ex uh still lives at the house or so he goes, he didn't know. He said he didn't know if you did or not. So yeah. that's why we came by. Oh wow! Yeah. Yeah, I, I had to file two, actually. You had to file two restraining orders. Yeah. Yeah, we've never we've never met this guy in person again. We so so you may not you may know this already, but it's public information whenever people fall behind on their yeah, payments. Yeah, yeah, of okay, of okay. So I uh so we do this all the time, and a lot of people don't know they have a solution like this. So what we wanted to do is. I, I Like, and we even had a contract all written after he was working with one lady. All he had to do was show up and sign it, and then he just straight ghosted everybody. Wow. And then he tried suing me for, like, 10 grand and, like, trying to say that I was squatting at the house, whatever. Basically, he asked, so he actually called. I was behind, um, I think, two, I was behind two months total. So, basically, for about six months, I wasn't making a full payment. Yeah. I was only paying about $1,000 versus the 1350 Gotcha. And so um, then I started getting caught up, and I was paying 